we are going to take a look at a video. This video depicts lightning and thunder. Now in earlier days, it was believed that lightning and thunder was the way the gods used to express their displeasure at human beings. But now, a scientific reason has been found out about why lightning and thunder takes place. In the atmosphere, in between region to region, there are variations in temperature and pressure. So due to these variations, evaporation of water takes place from the seas, rivers, lakes, ponds. When this water evaporates, it forms water vapor and it reaches the upper atmosphere. Over here, these water vapor droplets condense and form water droplets and ice crystals. So when millions and millions of these water droplets and ice crystals come together, they form clouds. And when these water droplets and ice crystals are more in number, they form bigger clouds. These clouds are usually known as thunder clouds. So when these clouds collide against one another, because there are many clouds, or when they rub against one another, charges are produced on the clouds. We have studied that whenever two bodies are rubbed against one another, charges are produced. In a similar manner, the clouds develop charges. So in case of a cloud, the negative charges are concentrated at the bottom and the positive charges are concentrated at the top. So there is a huge accumulation of negative charges at the bottom of the cloud. Due to this, it induces a positive charge on the surface of the earth. Now positive charge and negative charge will obviously attract one another because unlike charges attract. And as a result, an electric discharge takes place. That is, from the cloud to the earth in the form of electrons. These electrons rush from the cloud to the earth and it is this rush that we see as lightning and we subsequently hear as thunder. Now, lightning has many damaging effects. It can be very risky. In this picture, you will notice that these tall buildings that are churches have been damaged by lightning. Now, we saw in the previous case that the negative charge that accumulates at the bottom of the clouds induces a positive charge on the earth. Now, there are certain regions on the earth which are elevated or slightly higher than other regions. These regions can include hills or even tall buildings and tall structures like churches. So on these churches, because they are higher than the rest, the positive charge concentration is more. And as a result, they have a greater risk of getting damaged by lightning than other objects that are not so high up. So in order to prevent the damaging effects of lightning, a scientist, Benjamin Franklin, came up with a very good idea. This good idea was that of a lightning rod. This lightning rod was invented by this scientist whose name is Benjamin Franklin. Now Benjamin Franklin performed certain experiments to actually show that lightning is nothing but a discharge of electricity. Earlier in the days of Benjamin Franklin, people did not think that lightning and electricity were one and the same. But it was Benjamin Franklin who proved that lightning was nothing but a discharge of electrons. His famous experiment, that was the kite flying experiment, was the experiment with which he proved that lightning actually consists of nothing but electrons. And it was after this that Benjamin Franklin concluded that lightning can have several damaging effects. So in order to remove the damaging effects of lightning, Benjamin Franklin invented the lightning rod. So let us find out how the lightning rod helps in mitigating the effects of lightning. Usually what happens is lightning rods are installed on top of buildings. When lightning rods are installed on the top of buildings, it actually prevents the building from getting damaged by lightning. How this happens, we will soon find out. So consider this picture. In this picture, we'll find that a lightning rod has been installed on the top of this church. This is the lightning rod that is being shown in green. 
Now, what is happening is, since tall objects have a greater tendency to accumulate positive charges, as we just discussed, this lightning rod will accumulate a lot of positive charges on it. Now, we have studied that unlike charges attract one another, so the negative charge that is forming on the cloud will be attracted by the positive charges on this lightning rod. Now, you will say that even earlier, there was a cross on the church on which positive charges were getting accumulated. So, what is the special thing about a lightning rod? Well, this lightning rod is connected by a wire and this wire goes down into the ground as you can see. And we have also studied that the earth is a huge sink for charges. So when lightning hits the lightning rod over here, because there is an accumulation of positive charges, the electrons hit the lightning rod and are conducted via this wire and go down into the ground. And thus, the building is protected. So in this animation, you will find that the buildings are not using any lightning rod. And when lightning strikes, it is actually damaging the building as well as the tree. You can see that positive charges are accumulated all over the place, on the surface of the earth and also on the top of these buildings. And since no lightning rod is being used, the damaging effects of lightning cannot be prevented. The house is getting burned due to lightning and so is the tree. But now consider a scenario where this house is actually using a lightning rod. So, there is an accumulation of positive charges on the lightning rod. So, when there is an accumulation of positive charges on the lightning rod, this lightning rod attracts the electrons at the bottom part of the cloud towards itself. As a result, lightning is discharged at this point and it flows down through the wire into the ground because the earth is a huge sink for the charges. As a result, what happens is, even buildings and other objects in near vicinity of this building are prevented from the damaging effects. This happens because the lightning rod is being used and the damaging effects of lightning are actually mitigated. Lightning does not cause any damage in this case where the lightning rod is used. Well, the lightning rod is actually directly dependent on the fact that the earth is a huge sink for all charges. It is because the earth is a huge sink that the lightning rod, after intercepting the lightning, is able to transfer the electrons from itself via the wire connected into the earth or ground. So, as all the charges are safely transferred to the earth, the lightning rod helps prevent damage caused due to lightning. 